This morning, we are getting important career advice in our series, Life Lessons. Here to share the path to success and longevity is Lauren Wesley Wilson. She is the founder and CEO of ColorCom Corporation, a platform that addresses diversity and inclusion across the communications and media industries. You may recall back in 2022, they named our girl here, Chanel Jones, one of their 28 African-American women changing history in communications. It's a special day. Lauren's new book is called What Do You Need? How Women of Color can take ownership of their careers to accelerate their path to success. Lauren, good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Uh, I was talking to you about this book. This is for everybody, quite frankly. So let's dig into the number one thing people need to do, in your opinion, to be successful in their careers. So we have so many basic needs in the workplace. We want we need to be valued, seen, respected, mm -hmm. understood, and compensated mm. in order for us to enjoy our career journeys and to be successful. Mm. One of the things you write about in the book and one of the things that you maintain in life is uh, this idea that people should not bring their full selves <laughs> Correct. to the I workplace. Agree. Correct. But, you know, for years, I think it's, we've all heard, bring your whole self. Yeah. And I, I leave, don't, leave some, leave some of it home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> leave it at home. We've heard bring your full self to work for many years now. I debunk that myth. Okay. Mm. Because we want to bring the best parts of ourselves, the parts that allow us to connect with our coworkers, mm. shared interest around TV shows, movies, travel plans, leave the family drama and relationship issues and all that stuff at home. Mm -hmm. So bring the things that allow you to connect, connect. with your colleagues. Don't bring that to the workplace. Bring that, absolutely. So, so with this generation now, especially kind of working hybrid, being at home, how do you how do you stand out? How do you make a name for yourself, especially if you're not in the office? Good question. Day? That's a great question. It first starts with doing good work. Mm -hmm. So often we want the accolades, the awards, the shine, but it starts with doing good work, Preach. producing a series of wins sure. and learning as much as you can. And then get involved across the company, participate in the culture and join outside other organizations, join committees, boards, get involved. Okay. What do you mean by play the game? Play the game. And that's what I talk about in my book. Mm -hmm. Play the game. There's these unspoken rules in order to be successful. And your company is not going to sit you down and say, this is what you need to be successful here. Mm. Much of that, you're going to have to learn outside of the office. Or find a mentor. Find a yeah. mentor, find yeah. a sponsor. And I coined this term in my book called godmothers and godfathers. Mm. And those are people who can advance your career by 10 years mm. if, if they knew you. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So, you know, naturally, it's important to take risks in your career, but you're not just like taking risks willy nilly. I mean, how do you make sure you take the right ones? I talk about taking calculated risks. It's about timing and it's about opportunity, but it all goes back to doing good work first, mm -hmm. because if you take that risk and it fails, you need to have a safety net. Mm -hmm. You need to fall back on something. You need to produce something good so they can say, you know what? It didn't really work out, but I know mm -hmm. Lauren's a good performer, so we'll, we'll look the other way. We'll forgive okay. her this time. And what do, you, what do you mean by look inward? Look inward, because much of what we do, we put a lot of blame on our employers. But this mm. book is about taking ownership of your career, your workplace productivity, good or bad. How do you contribute to the workplace, good or bad, and taking ownership? I love that. And case. don't overthink is also... Yeah. I, don't I, don't I, overthink I, it. I just do it. Just do it. Do it. Yeah. Take the risk. That. I've never been guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is interesting to me. You say get out of your own head, and sometimes you should understand someone else's perspective. A lot of people, you know, whether you're in management or you're not, you're kind of siloed into your own experience. Absolutely. You know, I always say it's a hodgepodge of us in the workplace. It's amazing that we can all come together. We have different backgrounds. We come from different upbringings. And so we want to be able to listen first. We're not always going to do everything the right way and get out of your own way. Empathy, okay? yeah. empathy, empathy, empathy. empathy. Oh. Your way is not the highway. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's good. Like Lauren, that. thank you so much. Good advice. Thank you. And you know what? Congratulations. It's like we didn't go into it, but a who's who of women around this country who are supporting this book. So it's oh, good stuff inside. You. Thank you. The book is called What Do You Need? And it is out today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.